What's going on team? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly my steps, my process to actually moving a ATM machine. I'm going to share with you guys my tips, my tricks, the whole nine so stay tuned for this entire video. Before we even jump into this video, what I want you guys to do is I want you to give me a thumbs up on this video. Go like this video. Help your boy out. Drop in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in future videos, as well as make sure and go subscribe to your boy because your boy needs some subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, here we are. It's a beautiful Wednesday, Thursday afternoon. I don't know what day it is. It's sun shining in sunny Scottsdale. Sunny Scottsdale is where we salt our margaritas. We do not salt our sidewalks. So if that happens to be you and you're in the cold, you're in the winter, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are today with an ATM. I'm gonna share with you guys the steps, the process. There's a couple different ways to move an ATM. There's a couple things I recommend uh, where to put an ATM. Uh, and so just to debunk this really quick, installing an ATM is not quite as difficult as you guys might think. Now obviously I understand time is expensive, time is valuable. I understand that you do not want to spend time picking up this machine, putting it inside of your Prius or putting it inside of your truck or your, or your Subaru uh, and actually going and installing that machine. I totally understand that. I get that absolutely. But what I do want to share with you guys is the simplicity of the process. Obviously, you guys can do one of two things. One, you guys can pay somebody to install this ATM machine, right? You can pay our company to install this machine for you. Or two, you can just go install it, right? Uh, so a couple of things, I'm gonna break down probably like three or four steps for you guys. Three or four steps for you guys to actually go in installing this ATM machine. Obviously, you guys can see right here, I have a dolly. I highly recommend having a dolly. This dolly, somebody's not happy. This dolly you can pick up at Lowe's or something like that for, you know, 50 to 100 dollars. Now what I would recommend in getting a dolly is, maybe we can show you a picture, but, or you can just Google it as I'm on this video, but don't leave yet. You can actually get a rubber bottom rubber bottom because a, 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 a dolly like this, this is just one I had at the office, a dolly like this actually will slip. So the ATM will slip, slide. If you're going over bumps, different things like that, the ATM will actually slip. So if it's on a rubber, if this bottom part is rubber, you actually uh, will prevent the actual ATM from slipping and sliding when you're carrying it up, you know, different curbs and things like that. Somebody's unhappy. So, uh, you know, one, you can get a dolly. Uh, two, I recommend if you guys are gonna be putting it in the back of your guys' car or truck, lay a blanket down, lay a blanket down so it's easy to pick the ATM up and slide the ATM inside of there. Uh, just some, some little tips for you guys. Never put the ATM on its side, never put it on its side. Never obviously put it on its front, put it on its front, you're gonna hurt the screen, you're gonna break the screen, the screen's semi-expensive to fix. Always go back with the machine. I like to have it at a 45 degree angle. Uh, this way you guys uh, are not gonna damage the machine at all. Uh, the parts are gonna stay in the machine. And always put the back up against the end of your guys' car, uh, which happens to have a blanket, and therefore you're able to slide the machine into your guys' vehicle. Um, so that's one. Have a dolly. G getting a dolly, I recommend having a dolly that actually has uh, rubber on this. This is not rubber, it's metal, so it just slips and slides. Uh, slides around when you go on to bumps. In terms of a vehicle, there's multiple different vehicles you guys can use. Honestly, you guys can go rent a U-Haul if you're installing two, three, or four machines. You guys go rent a little U-Haul. It's like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 30 bucks. Drive it a couple of miles, call it a day. You can fit three or four bad boys of these ATMs inside that. Um, or you can put it in the back of your car. Just to give you guys an idea, our Prius holds two ATMs laying sideways down in the back of our Prius. So. Prius holds two ATMs. My Subaru holds two ATMs. Maserati don't, don't hold no ATMs. Range Rover holds a couple ATMs. There's multiple different, uh, obviously, trucks. You guys can hold multiple different ATMs. Never stack your guys' ATMs. Um, but the install part of it is pretty simple. Anyways, <laughs> we got race car drivers here at the Optima, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Next couple of items that I actually personally don't have with me. 
I'm gonna share with you guys the other step to actually uh, let's just say you don't have a dolly. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use and move this machine without actually breaking the items inside the machine. Uh, but one is um, you can actually get a suction cup. So a suction cup that actually suctions to the ATM and you can actually pull that with a handle on the ATM machine. Now obviously uh, you, can, you can purchase that on Amazon for you know 15 or $20. Uh, it's a little 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 suction cup that suction cups to this machine and let's just say it's in the back of your car and it's like this it's lay, laying down in the back of your car like this and you want to suction cup the bottom of that to pull it out of your car it's like 15 or 20 dollars on Amazon uh, you guys can definitely go pick that up I do not have an affiliate link for that but you guys can just literally go search it suction cup if you guys choose to honestly personally I don't think you guys need it um, I have installed hundreds of ATMs uh, and I've never used the suction cup but if you guys want to make it easier and simpler for you use the suction cup you can easily pull it out of your your, your car unscrew it pull it off and you guys are good to go so uh, that's one uh, that is two uh, using a dolly, always recommend it. Putting down a blanket, that's three. Uh, make sure and put down a blanket, that way you don't scratch nothing, you don't scratch your car, most importantly. Honestly, these guys are pretty freaking durable, uh, especially if you have the parts inside the ATM machine down here. If you still have the styrofoam and, and stuff inside the machine and you haven't taken that out yet, then this machine's gonna be perfect. You can drop it, you can slam it down like this. It's not gonna hurt the machine. In fact, that's what they're meant to and that, that's how they're built. Now, uh-oh, somebody's unhappy. We'll keep that one in the video. <laughs> now, obviously you guys are like, Austin, I don't have a uh, dolly or I don't have a rubber dolly or they ran out of dollies, which honestly a lot of companies do run out of dollies. This is actually called the walk ladies and gentlemen. This walk with the ATM, because this sucker likes to walk, right? He likes to go like this. Some people are like watching this video, they're like, yo Austin, that's my machine. Don't touch it like that. No, listen here, boy. It ain't gonna do nothing for it. So you can actually pick the machine up, turn it sideways like this, and you can literally walk with the machine. So for example, for you guys, to give you an idea of how far you can walk with this ATM machine, you can walk pretty far. I've walked this entire ATM machine. It's not difficult. It's not hard. It is not making me break a sweat at all right now. But just to give you guys an idea, I walk, walk from here, from here, with the ATM machine. Just by walking the machine. So, this video is kind of just a debunk. One, I understand you guys want to pay people to install your ATM machines. I do it myself. Two, I'm also going to show you guys exactly how simple it was to actually move an ATM machine. So, one, you can use a dolly. Two, you can literally walk the machine. Now, obviously, I understand walking the machine is not the easiest thing to do. I get that. Uh, but worst case, if that's what you have to do, then that's exactly what you have to do. And honestly, that's what I've done. I've probably done it 20 or 30 times uh, installing ATMs. I've literally walked an ATM machine inside a business, up a curb, a bunch of different things. It's not gonna hurt the machine. The machine's gonna be fine. Uh, and it's a simple way if you don't have a dolly. So uh, those are kind of like my steps, ladies and gentlemen, on how to move an ATM by yourself. Uh, Cause sometimes I understand a lot of people don't have a lot of help. Um, you know, obviously having a dolly is, is pretty simple, pretty easy uh, process and you know, installing a machine is really not that difficult. I have other videos on my YouTube channel of me installing ATM machines and, and we're also going to make a, a few extra uh, machine, uh, machine install videos for you guys, so stay tuned for those. Hopefully you guys got value in this video. I worked hard for you. Make sure if you haven't already, go smash that thumbs up. Go subscribe to your boy because we're gaining 10 to 30 subscribers a day on an unmonetized channel. You guys are the best family there is. If you haven't already, make sure and go shoot me a DM on Instagram. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I wanna do a free consultation call, five minutes with you. Drop in the comment section below if you'd like that to be you and reach out to me on Instagram. We'll see you guys in some future videos.